July is a really interesting time in the fishing industry. This is the month where ICAST takes place. So if you're not familiar with ICAST, it's essentially the biggest convention of fishing tackle in North America. What that's gonna mean for you guys is a ton of new product is gonna be coming your way, being released to all the retailers. We're all gonna get it, you know, kind of around the same time. It's really exciting to see new product coming out. For us, it's not so exciting because a lot of the brands that display at ICAST aren't brands that we really carry. So with that being said, there are a few brands that do display at ICAST from Japan. For Japan, the big one is really, I would say the Osaka show, which is generally in February, early February. But this one's really cool because we're gonna see some awesome stuff from Daiwa, St. Croix, Shimano. And this week we're gonna see the ICAST release for one of our favorite brands in the shop, G-Crack. Um, so we're gonna have a bunch of new products for you guys and we'll run through them right now. How's it going guys? Travis from Taco Bros. And today I want to bring to you the, the start of the iCast release. So this whole month, we're gonna be having a ton of new product coming in. We're gonna be showcasing you guys some of the stuff we think is really cool. And yeah, we're gonna start here with G-Crack today. So I'm gonna start off with the new Elastomer Bellows Gill. This is a really, really cool one. I think you guys who, who like this bait are gonna are gonna welcome it into your lineup. Let's start off with the elastomer. If you're not familiar with elastomer, elastomer is a different type of plastic that they use to make these baits. So generally, you know, if you start to pull on it or rip it, the bait's gonna fall apart. With the elastomer, it's super, super stretchy, super durable. And the other benefit of this is high float. As you can see here, with the non-elastomer, it's gonna fall right to the bottom, it's gonna fall over. With the elastomer on the Ned Rig, it's gonna stand straight up in the air. This is a huge benefit for you guys, you know, fishing Ned Rigs, fishing Carolina Rigs, that's gonna help this guy kinda stay up in the column a little bit off the bottom as your weight's coming through. Uh, you free rig guys, this is gonna be something new for you to show them where the bait kind of hovers instead of falling right to the bottom, you don't need to lift it as much which is gonna be really cool. And maybe if you're fishing a football head on bottom, it's gonna help this bait kind of stand up a little bit more for the fish to attack. That being said, there are some downsides to the elastomer. Um, number one, this does not play well with others. So if you put this in with your other plastic baits, everything's gonna to melt together. It's a big shit show. I've done it about 10 times. I don't seem to learn my lesson. I'm sure I'll do it again, but they cannot go together. So. You know, if you have it separately in a bag, that's fine. But if you have it in an open case with the other baits, it's it's mud, it's not good. Keep that in mind when you're going with the elastomer. Another thing that generally happens with the elastomer is you're gonna lose a slight bit of action. Some things are more than others. As you've seen in the tank, there's not really a whole lot of action lost on these, which is really nice to see. I think that has to do with the deep ribbing on the body. There's just so much water being displaced with those. The main other difference with this is, well, they're both gonna have SAF, which is great. This one is gonna be kind of a toned down version, I would say. You can still kind of smell it in there, which is awesome. Maybe the elastomer will hold it a little bit better. That'd be, that'd be really cool to see. With the original ones, it's very greasy, it's very slimy. So as you're putting the baits on, your hands get covered in the SAF material. I know Cody, when he was receiving the stuff in the back, he always tries to take G-Crack days off because his everything just gets messed up with it. There's oil all over your clothes, which, I mean, for the fishermen and fish, we like the scent. If you're just touching the packages, it's not that great. I'm glad that G-Crack was able to incorporate that into the actual plastic itself. Another problem that can sometimes happen with elastomer plastics is the color not translating over well. G-Crack has done a great job with these. Uh, the electric shad looks like the electric shad, but you can kind of see a little bit here on the green pumpkin. It loses some of its opacity. They generally become a little bit more clear, a little bit lighter. And uh, yeah, that's something you just need to consider when you're doing this. These will not replace all of your regular SAF material. If you're, you know, Nico rigging, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna use the regular SAF. If you're Ned rigging, you'll see here in the video that Again, these little guys stand up perfectly straight in the water, whereas the other one, if you get it on the right angle, it will stand up, but if you drag it and it knocks over at all, uh, it's just gonna lay down like you see here. Okay, let's run through some of the applications where elastomer or non-elastomer are really gonna shine, and we'll start here with the bellows gill. So this is the 2.8 inch bellows gill. It's also gonna be available in a 3.8 come August, we're hoping. This is become one of the most popular flipping baits 
anywhere. There's a ton of other applications, but really flipping and pitching has been the shining, the shining thing for this guy. If you're gonna just straight flip, you're gonna wanna use the other one. Now, where this one is really gonna shine, like I said earlier, on that Ned rig, on that Carolina rig, on that free rig, anything where you want it to kind of have a slow rise, this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be a flo true floating material. So if you just throw this in weightless, it's right on top of the water, nothing's going down. If you add some weight, it's gonna kind of, as it gets to the bottom, it's gonna stand up. Some guys will drop shot this. Keep in mind, because this is such a high float material, it is gonna kind of stand up like this. So that's something to consider when you're drop shotting. Um, but all those other applications, this is really gonna excel on. Anything, like I said, bottom contact is where you're gonna to wanna to go to the elastomer. Also, the durability. If you're just trying to save a couple bucks and you want to get a bait that's gonna last you, like one bait will likely last you for a good part of the day, try the elastomer out. You are gonna sacrifice on, on some of that action, but thankfully, like I said, with the ribbing, G-Crack has kind of mitigated that and it still has lots of amazing action as you've seen in the tank. The other thing to consider is the elastomer will come four to a pack, whereas the originals will come six to a pack. So it's gonna feel like you're getting a little bit less for the same money, but with that durability, that stretch, these are gonna take you a lot further. Okay, let's run through the four colors that are initially gonna be available in the 2.8. So the one that I've been showing you the whole time, that's gonna be green pumpkin chartreuse. So I'll actually hold the regular one up. So you're gonna have that green pumpkin front, a little chartreuse back. That's a super popular one for us always. We're gonna have bluegill. So just a little bit darker profile. This is gonna have some blue and gold flake in it. This is a really popular one as well. We're gonna have green pumpkin. So this has been a popular one always. Green pumpkin's the number one. And then scuppernong. So that nice kind of reddish brown color. Uh, very popular color in certain areas. Something that Ash just pointed out to me that I was forgetting to mention to you guys is they now come in these new clam packs. So if you have something already pre-rigged up on them, you're gonna notice this little slot that they've left in there. You can leave your hook completely rigged, put them back in the clamshells. There's a little area up there to keep the hook head. Um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool added feature from G-Crack. Now let's take a jump over to the bellows stick. So they're gonna introduce it in two sizes initially. We're gonna see the 2.8 inch size and the 3.8 inch size. These are gonna be the original two offerings. Again, elastomer type material. So the originals are non-elastomer. The main difference is this is non-elastomer. So if I just pull this guy, it just breaks. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's a downside of having the regular Plastisol version. And then with the elastomer, like this thing's a slinky. It's, you just can just stretch it back and then boom, snaps right back exactly perfectly how it was meant to look. If you're fishing around a lot of bluegill, you know how often these little tails get ripped off like that and then you have to throw the whole bait out. That's not gonna happen with these guys. So that's, that's gonna be the big benefit. For the bellows sticks, if you are wacky rigging, if you are Nico rigging, or if you are you know just kind of flipping a Sanko around, Stick with the originals. That would be my suggestion. You're welcome to try these if you want. I'm, I'm sure you can get them to go. Probably not wacky rigging because it's gonna be a top water at that point. If you're drop shotting a wacky rig or if you're using like a heavily weighted wacky rig, if you're straight drop shotting, if you're Ned rigging, anything like that, this one is gonna be a great option. The other one's still gonna work fine. This one might excel a little bit more on a Ned rig because of that high buoyancy. It's obviously gonna stand straight up and down and it's gonna return to that after every twitch. Otherwise, this will be like a co-application for some of those other things. So in the 2.8, we're gonna have three colors initially. We're gonna have the regular green pumpkin. We're gonna have green pumpkin chartreuse. So green pumpkin, little chartreuse back there. And then we're gonna have one of my personal favorites, electric shad. So those will be the three colors in the 2.8. 3.8, we're gonna have five colors. So this is, first one is going to be light gill candy. It's a really nice one. This actually looks different from the other gill candy quite a bit, I would say. So that's a cool one. We are gonna have green pumpkin chartreuse. So there's that guy again. We're gonna have wakasaki. This is a great color. Electric shad. So definitely check these out. This Thursday, they will be in the drop. There's also some other stuff back in stock from G-Crack that you guys will be happy to see. Thanks for hanging out with us. We're gonna keep doing these for all the new iCast products that are coming out that we think are cool anyway. There's some 
there's some stuff that's eh, but if it stands out to us and it's cool, uh, we're gonna bring it to you. So thanks for hanging out with us and definitely try these out, especially if you like fishing on bottom.